When working with tables, you probably know that you can click and drag a row border to adjust row height. There's an easier way though to get exactly the row height you want, as you discover in this quick tip. Word allows you to independently adjust the height of every row in a table. For instance, I have a small table on the screen here, and I can adjust the height of the rows within this table by moving the uh, mouse pointer over a, a border between two rows, and it changes to a double-headed arrow. At that point, I can click and I can drag to get the row height that I want within that row. There's a much more precise method of setting the row height, however. All you need to do is select the row or the rows that you want to affect. So if I want these three rows to be affected, I just select them like I did right there. And I'm going over to the Layout tab of the ribbon. I want to use this control, which is the table row height. Notice that there's nothing showing in here. The reason is, is because these three rows that I have selected in the table all have different heights so it doesn't know what height to put in here. But if I want these rows to be a specific height, like, oh, let's say half an inch, all I have to do is select that control and type 0.5. That would be half of an inch. And when I press enter, then all three of those rows are set to be one half of an inch in height. And you can see that that half inch height appears within the row height control. For more height options, I can click on this little icon right down here, which is the table properties uh, icon. And that displays the table properties dialog box. Now within this row tab, I can specify the row height for the selected rows if I want to. But there's other controls within here as well that affect how that row height will work. For instance, I can specify using the row height is control, whether I want this height to be exactly half an inch or at least half of an inch. If I select at least half of an inch, it means that if I enter more information in one of those table cells in that row than can be displayed in the half of an inch, it'll increase that row height automatically to allow for the display of all of the information that I entered. If I make changes in the dialog box, then when I click on OK, they're applied within those rows of the table. I hope that you found this quick tip helpful. If you did, please click the subscribe button and then click the bell icon. That way you'll be informed whenever I add a new video to the Word Tips channel. Thanks for spending a few minutes with me today.